Eagle, we have our van here. Give you a quick tour of the van. Uh, basically, this van is set up with a raised bed platform. And we like going north-south with this bed because we don't like to crawl over each other. A lot of uh, van configurations, they have what is called east-west, and they have flare spaces. So you're actually sleeping that way, but then you have to crawl over each other. Kate and I decided not to do that because we like to sleep this way. So we have our bed up here. We have a little LED light here. Our sink over here with hot and cold water. Um, we have a 12 volt hot water tank. I can show you afterwards in the garage. We have two extra seats here. This bed actually folds away. It's three panels, so it stacks. So that when you're driving or you want to sit here, you can stack these uh, panels and uh, you can sit here holding out but this table is called a lagoon table the table leg comes out of the states and the nice thing with these is that you can adjust them up and down you can turn them you can turn it that way so we can use it as a cutting board you can use it as a table you can do whatever you want to do right so that's what called the lagoon table they're quite common it comes out of the marine world a lot of the items that are in vans come from marine world some from, from the boat industry. So this van is completely self-contained. We have, obviously, like I said, we have running water. We also have, obviously, when you have running water, you have to have a place to go. It goes into here. There's a cabinet here with gray water. I took the tank out, but it's sitting in here. So basically, all it does is a jug here that, that the gray water would go into. I just drained it. That's why it's not there. But that's where that would go. Okay. We have a cooktop, two burner cooktop here. Uh, this one runs on propane system. And then obviously our cabinet for dishes and things like that. Um, this van has solar system. So all the items that are in here that run on electronics run on 12 volt system. Um, and we have three batteries that uh, charged up get charged up by the solar system. You got 160 watts of solar system up there. They go in through a, a controller, which is right here. And then from the controller down into the batteries to charge up the batteries. The batteries also get charged while we're driving by the alternator. Then we also have an inverter, just in case you do have an appliance that you want to run on 110, you flick the switch, you can run a 110 plug here. The other thing we have is that if you go to a campsite or you're parked at somebody's house, whatever else, you can plug in in the back to 110 and it charges the system and also provides you outlets here and some in the back. So you can plug in your kettle or whatever you want to do. I can show you that afterwards. This is our fridge right here, slide out fridge. Excuse the mess a little bit, but that's our, <laughs> our uh, fridge right here. And then this is our control panel for lights and so on and so forth. We also have USB charging ports, uh, 12 volt charging port, maybe you have a little light in there, and so on and so forth. And then these switches control the lights and uh, uh, lights, pump, heater, diesel heater. So we have a furnace in this van as well, which is in this particular one underneath that seat. Um, and it heats the whole cab up. Okay. And one, what type of vehicle is this? This is a Mercedes Sprinter 2017 4x4. So this is a four-wheel drive version. They make them four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive version. So, show you back. One thing that's very important in vanning, we find anyway, is these window shades. These particular ones are actually made in uh, Oregon, but these window shades are great because A, they give you privacy, and we have them for the front as well. They go right around. But B, they also keep things cool, and in the winter time, help to insulate as well. So in the summertime, they keep it cooler, and in the wintertime, they keep it warmer, because they are insulated. And these particular ones, you can flip up like this for the vents. So if you have a vent here, you can open up. So like I said earlier, ventilation is important. You can open these up. Still have. So these stay in place all the time. This, this one, one on that side. Now this particular van, we also have an awning. I can show you later on quickly how that comes out. Um, and a roof rack. The roof rack is actually built here in town, locally. So are these step bars, they're built here in town locally as well. And the bed frame is actually built locally.